Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of Core Data Services. So in the previous session we saw how we can create our first CDS view. Now in this part we are going to see how to consume consume our CDS views in a web program. We are going to see how to consume our CDS view in a web program. Right, so we are going to see this part here consuming CDS view in a web programming. So let's see that. Right, we have created our CDS view from Eclipse tool, right? Eclipse tool and we can also use this also use this C CDS view as a data source as a data source data source for our open SQL queries open SQL queries in a web programming so whatever CDS view you are creating you can directly use it as a data source for your open SQL queries in a web programming and we will be able to we will be able to store the data into the internal table internal table using the series views so we can directly use our series view as a data source also and we will be able to simply store our data into the corresponding internal table and then we, we can simply display it to our user okay so this is the CDS view that we have created. Let me just show it to you again. I will simply do the activate part and I will go for open with data preview. This is our actual data that is getting displayed right material type which we have applied on case and raw material is getting displayed when the material value was ROH material type was ROH. So I will use this CDS view in my ABAP program. Okay. I will simply go to SAP system. I will log into my SAP system. Right. I will go to SC38 and I will create a program. So Z consume CDS as a source. Source a web. So consuming CDS view in a web programming. Okay. In the type I will select executable. I will pass my package and I will pass the transport request here. So this is our web program, right? So I will write the select query, writing select query based on CDS views so based on CDS views okay so select then what are our columns here we can directly use star also or you can use your column names here but since we are using aliases we will have to pass the alias name so select material number then second column is your material type then industry sector so industry sector industry sector here then basic unit of major so basic unit of major basic unit of major from your data source so data source is our serious view i will copy the name of my serious view here okay into table i'll use the new syntax so data lt material okay lt material let me check for the syntax no error let's activate it 
now i will display it so displaying our table displaying our data using cls alv table class so cls alv table class i will call its factory method so uh, go to sc24 cls alv table this is our cls alv table class and if you check this class you will find that it has got a factory method here it has got a factory method which returns the object of this particular class and then we can use its display method to display our alv right so i will create a reference data hello table type ref to this particular class so CLS ALV table and then I will call its factory method so pattern wrap object pattern CLS ALV table class and its factory method factory method okay uncomment the try I will uncomment this exporting parameter and I will get my object of CLS ALV table class so I will pass the reference hello table and I will pass it here sorry hello underscore table and in the RT table what I will do I will pass my internal table so LT material LT material and I will uncomment the catch and end try part okay once we have got our data I will simply do display our ALV so hello table display display I will simply display it syntax check and activate it okay now I will put a debugger on my query go for execute button and let's check it So desktop 3 I will press F6 and I will check my internal table yes we are getting 429 records so it's working I will go for continue button and I will see the data getting displayed here data getting displayed data getting displayed industry sector and base unit of major right base unit of major so here in our material type where we have got raw material we have got our name as raw material except I have simply replaced it with my name right we are getting our ALV output using this CDS view using this CDS view okay so it's working perfect we can simply use our CDS view in our ABAP programming okay so this is all about consuming CDS view in a ABAP program so thank you very much for watching the video we will continue from next part